Coverage continues now at the pandemic's impact on the upcoming election. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino is live at the Capitol now with the changes we can expect later this year. Mike? Yes, and Dennis, Secretary of the State Denise Merrill announcing today that she plans to send applications for absentee ballots to every eligible voter. This, of course, just one of more than two dozen changes she's planning to make. She's been planning to address security, and now, of course, she also has to address the coronavirus. I think the point of this plan is that we have to be prepared for anything. Secretary of the State Denise Merrill unveiling a 27-point plan today in preparation for the 2020 elections. Among the changes, Merrill plans to mail absentee ballot applications to every registered voter in Connecticut. We suspect more people will be wanting to use absentee ballots because they're fearful of going to a polling place, especially when they've been told by the governor uh, to stay home. Typically, up to 8% of voters use an absentee ballot in Connecticut. Merrill expects higher demand this year, especially since Connecticut's constitution doesn't allow for voting by mail. Right now, state law says only people who are sick or out of town qualify for absentee ballots. But Merrill is asking lawmakers to make that more flexible. We are also going to be looking at polling places, whether they can be uh, socially distanced. Her office is also working with towns on cleaning all polling places and training staff on safety guidelines. And she wants all schools to be closed to avoid voters possibly infecting students. Grants are available to help towns cover increased costs but they have to submit an election day plan to be eligible. Efforts by foreign governments to impact American elections go on, even here in Connecticut. In addition to the pandemic, Merrill is also focused on election security. She wants the state's National Guard to do a cybersecurity screening for each town. She's looking for technology updates at the state and local level, and she plans to hire an information security officer and reconfigure the elections division to provide local support. Also, the state is getting guidance from the federal government. Now, when it comes to policing absentee ballot applications, Merrill admits that our capabilities there are limited. That's a task that's left to the state alert, uh, excuse me, state elections enforcement commission, but their process is largely driven by complaints. Reporting live from the Capitol, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.